Mm. Should I call this one? I had to get started as a property developer. Yeah, I might run with that. You never know. I might change the title of this video. And boom, we'll run with that for now. Boom, a couple hours ago, I was at my flat. And I made this video. And I've said this in previous videos as well about being a landlord and that. The number one thing I used to always tell every person that used to come through the door. Man, I used to draw a line in the sand. Plant my flag pole in that Ross Clark ground, yeah? I used to tell them. Obviously, it's one month's rent plus another month's rent as the deposit. If you fail to pay the rent on time, I will serve you a notice and you have to leave. I'll come to evict you. I used to say that to everybody. Now, a certain man might be thinking, like, watching this, like, raw. how can a man say that? Blood, that man said already. If something like that scares you, you ain't built for this thing. You have to be built a certain way to be a landlord. So during that video, man, just talking about the characteristics that it takes. Come on, you have to be built a certain way to be a landlord. If you're going to be a hands-on landlord, i.e. you're going to deal with the tenants yourself, collecting rent and that. You have to be cut from a certain cloth and you have to have certain characteristics about you. You can't be soft. You can't be passive aggressive. You need to be a direct person. Not aggressive. Yeah, man, not need to break, man, or nothing like that. But you understand? Or well, maybe, but anyway, boom. But you have to, you know, be direct with people. Innit? So during that video, man's talking about rappers. Man, seen interviews where man that have nothing to do, no experience in the property game. A man's probably, I was going to say ex-drug dealer, probably still is drug dealing, trying to enter the property world. A man are getting ripped off by plumbers, electricians and builders and that because they see you as easy pickings. You don't know what the fuck you, you're doing. You're a complete novice and you're trying to enter the property game. So boom, talking about that. Uh, I'm saying in that video, like man for stick to what they know. There's a famous quote by Alan Sugar, stick to what you know. It's not just rappers and people that have come from the illegal side of things that try and become property developers and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They get ripped off and that. It's not just them, you know. You'll get like random guys who just work in IT, never stepped foot upon a construction site before, never been in a void, which is an empty property. They don't know nothing. Never lifted up a floorboard. They didn't want to jump on property development and that. And then they get ripped off and don't understand why. Stick to what you know. That's like a man who has been a banker his whole life and wants to start getting into buying and selling cars and fixing cars. And I'm not saying a man can't try it, but what I'm saying is you need to do your research first, you know. Like with the cars thing, you know, a man might even be able to just jump on buying and selling cars because you know what? It's not a big expense. You could buy a car for a grand, try and fix it up and sell it. That's cool. If you lose out, you ain't lost that much. I've done it. I've lost out. It's not a big financial loss but properties in that like i said in that video go and watch it man i leave a link in the description box below a man will invest five grand into a rewire electrician or so-called electrician don't know what the hell he's doing will mess up the job things don't work my man's ran off with the five grand then the next man will come in test the property he said well boy i'm not working on this you need to get this removed and rewired bam another five grand well remember well if you're doing a rewire you're ripping out the ceiling licking down walls and rare 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 and that well you have to repair the damage in it so that's an next five grand for example so boom in that video i'm just saying stick to what you know and that at the same time i did say obviously and i said it bare times always try new things try new things but it comes at a cost in it Comes out costing it, yeah. So how can someone, because what happened was, I made that video and then turned the camera off, whatever, in it, boom. I'm in the flat, obviously, in it. So I sat down now, in it, because there's, there's no chairs in this flat. There's just two beds and mattresses and that. But I sat down on the floor. Uh, I was on my laptop, boom. So man sat down on the floor and I leant against the wall. And I was just thinking about the video that I just made, in it. And I just said, ah. Oh, I don't know if any of you lot make content or not. I know I've got a couple content creators on here, whatever. And I sat down and 
As soon as I sat down, I was just reflecting back on the video in it and I said, you know what? Someone is gonna come in the comment section below. I don't know how soon, but they're gonna say to me, well, how can I get started um, as a property developer if I have no experience in it? Here? So, boom, this is what this video is for. Innit? Boom. So in my opinion, the best way to start off as a property developer is don't just go out and buy a buy to let property and try and renovate and that. Buy your own Ross Clark property first buy your own home yeah and then when you're in your own home start doing little bits and pieces don't just go and buy a property uh quay up and then try and renovate it and that you don't know what the fuck you're doing i'm talking to a person that has no experience in building work if you're a plumber or a carpenter or you're a building tradesman then yeah do what you want to do in it but i'm talking to the man them and the gal them that have no experience at all don't think you're going to just be some property monopoly tycoon or whatever who's just going to buy a property here and there and flip them and make good profit and that no 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 nah nah you're gonna you 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 you're gonna encounter some trouble they're gonna encounter some trouble what you need to do is you need to buy your own property first and bit by bit start renovating the property doing a little bit here and there you know what, furthermore, you know what, forget even buying your own property first, innit, yeah? Why don't you renovate your room? If you're still living at your mum's yard and you say to yourself, ah, oh, you know what, man, I want to be a property developer, you know? Why don't you renovate your room first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we clean up that dirty room first? How about that? Completely gut your room. Remove everything. The carpets, the beds, and refurbish that room get a new bed new carpet paint the ross clark walls yeah paint yeah 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 anyone can learn how to paint you know get a roller get a bucket of paint and you get me a certain man will think will look at this wall right now you know like you know fuck this blood that's long i can't be bothered to paint this whole room yeah well that's that's your problem right there isn't it if you say to yourself right now yeah I could not be bothered to paint my whole entire room. Well, then how the fuck are you gonna reno renovate a property then? Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna just pay people to renovate properties like you wanna get stuck in. That's the thing. See, a lot of people, yeah, they just wanna pay money out or whatever. Any, how are you supposed to learn to be a property developer and that if you ain't even gonna get at least a little bit of hands-on experience? You think you're just going to go out there and be some property monopoly tycoon or whatever from day one? No, it ain't going to happen, man. Buy your own fucking property first and start doing it up piece by piece. You know what? Even if you live in a council house, why don't you try doing a little refurbishment? one? Obviously, don't throw too much money into the council house, obviously. But why not do a little bit of refurbishment here and there? Because I know a lot of people's yards is mad. Trust me. Man do electrical testing on people's houses and council houses and some of the yards are mad. Like, I'm going to people's yards and there's no carpet in the yard. Man are walking on floorboards, you know. Yeah, floorboards. And what is with this business where people are just sleeping on mattresses on the floor? You know how many yards man goes to and there's no bed frame, you know. It's just a mattress on the floor. So, so, you know what, sometimes there is a bed frame, but it's broken, so there's just a pile of pieces of metal and wood in the corner over there. But people are sleeping on the front of mattresses and that. If you want to become a property developer and that, if you're living at your mum's yard and you, you're in a room or whatever, why don't you try and renovate your room first? Why don't we do that? Remove everything out of your room, paint the walls, Get an electrician in to just change some of the light switches and that, and 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 the lights, couple sockets and that. Get them little nice silvery shiny chrome sockets and that. Do that. Paint the wall them. Change the carpet. Get some nice furniture and get a nice little cool bed. Get some nice little cool, uh, chest of drawers and that. Once you've done that, once you've done a good job, then think about, yeah, buying your own property and then start renovating that property first, renovate your own home and then go out and start buying other properties in that. Chatting to the people, them that have no experience in the building game. Because these builders, the tradesmen, these men are savages, you know. Savages, blood. 
I was in screw fix the other day. There were plumbers because there's a section of screw fix called electrofix and plum fix. So if you're on a if you're an electrician or a plumber, as long as you're qualified, you can get an account. You have to bring your certificates and sign up and rare, rare, rare in it. Anyway, boom. Man's in fucking uh, the electrofix section, which is just for account holders. So you as the average Joe that don't have an account because you're not an electrician or a plumber. You can't go there in it. So boom. Anyway, man's in the electrofix section in it. Boom. I'm standing up in there and there's some uh, plumbers in there. And these guys are talking about charging people £5,000 to renovate a bathroom. I'm like, what? Blood, I just renovated my bathroom. Man, I'll show you videos now. So, boom, man's constructed this bathroom all on my own, piece by piece. From the floor tiles to the horizontal tiles on the wall to the vertical feature wall tiles, yeah? Fitted the bathtub, plumbed it in, fit the vanity unit, the toilet, and the composite decking that runs underneath the bath. The wall units, even the LED lights. Done now. I renovated my bathroom, yeah? And like when I was sitting down talking to someone, it pretty much costed me about 800 pounds for all the materials. And that's probably, I probably even overestimate, probably 500 pounds for all the materials to renovate my bathroom. And these men are charging five grand. I'd say between about maybe, yeah, 500, 600 to 800 pounds, it cost me materials to renovate my bathroom. So the brand new tiles of the floor, for the wall, I've got a feature wall, shower screen, bathtub, toilet, vanity unit, sink, some cabinets, paint, couple electric uh, lights and that. Cost me between them, I don't know, five, six hundred and eight hundred pounds. These men are charging five grand, you know. Man, boy, I'm so glad I'm a hands-on type of man, you know, because there's no way, there is no way anyone will be charging me five bags, five grand, you know, to renovate that bathroom. You must be going mad. You must be going mad. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like these trades, man, them, they're fucking savages. They overvalue themselves, man. I'm a trades person. I'm saying that these men overvalue themselves, isn't it? Yeah, and they charge people an arm and a leg. So yeah, man, if you want to get into property development, property investment, you want to start renovating and flipping houses and that. Just start off where you are right now. So if you're in your own, if you live in your mum's yard and you have a little room in your mum's yard, why not refurbish that room first? It's not going to cost you that much money. Refurbish that room first. If you have your own property, like you live in a, a like a, a council house, because obviously if you live in like a private landlord's house, then you can't do no renovations to it. Unless you have permission from them, which is unlikely. But if you live in a council house, why don't you try just doing a little light cosmetic work to it? You know, like don't put too much money into it because it's not your property. Unless you're planning on buying that council house, then cool. But just change the carpets, paint the walls, change one, two little light switches in that. Then maybe go out and then buy your own property and do that. If you're not going to plan to buy that um, council house that you live in. But I would advise people buying their, their own council house, to be fair, because you can get a mad discount. You can get a mad discount. You will get 60% off and depends on the council and that you get some mad rates off, you know, 40% off. But yeah, buy your own home, renovate that, then go out and be like, you know, uh, a property investor where you're buying properties to renovate and flip them and that. Why don't you learn, try and learn the game first instead of just going out there because what you're going to do is throw money and man are gonna, you're going to have money in your hands and man are going to come take your peas, you know. You see all the time, man not making this shop, all them programs, role builders and that. Do you know why these people are getting ripped off? Because these people that are doing the renovation works, that are paying for it, they ain't 
don't know what the fuck they're talking. They don't understand the game. They have no experience. So these builders, they turn up to these IT and accountant people's houses and that. And them man, they are rubbing their hands. Them man, they are literally rubbing their hands. Because they don't know what the cost of nothing is. I see all like my favorite program to watch back in the day was that Homes Under the Hammer program and that. And some of the prices that them man they are talking about, like, yeah, the electrician say it's gonna cost six grand to rewire this house. I'm like, what this little idiot three bed house, six grand. And this is like five, four, five years ago as well, you know. Man are charging six grand to rewire the house. And when you see the rewire, you you would not know that that yard has been rewired. All right, there's a few spotlights in the ceiling. Wow, congratulations. Man are charging six grand. A lot of the time, furthermore, a lot of the time, when people get these rewires done, they don't need to be rewired. Most of the time, it's just a fuse box change that needs to be done because a lot of the fuse boxes nowadays are old and they don't meet the current regulations, innit? Yeah, now, nowadays, um, depends on the situation and that, but basically they want us electricians to install metal consumer units, metal fuse boxes. Most of them are plastic. So most of the time, it's just going to be a, a fuse box change, put a metal fuse box in. Um, yeah, and then maybe you want some spotlights in. Maybe some certain, like the earth bonding, which is not going to mean nothing to any of you unless you're an electrician. Maybe that's undersized, so they need to upgrade it and that. But electrician will come in and convince you that that place needs a rewire. So he will turn initially a job that would just cost about six, seven hundred pounds to a five gang job. This is what these men are like, you know. These trades people are fucked. Some of these men are crooks, you know. Some of these men are crooks. And any trades people watching this right now, you know, you've probably ripped off a few people here and there, you know. So man can't come with some moral high ground. Oh, I've never done that. I'm not saying I've done that. Me, I'll never try and like convince someone to, but I don't really give a fuck about doing electrical work for people. Man turn down jobs all the time. But yeah, man, if you want to get into property development and that, innit? Yeah, just start off where you are, innit? Yeah, if you live in a box room in your mum's yard, if you want to get into property development, why don't you try doing up that box room first, innit? Yeah, let's, let's start off in our habitat first, innit? If you own a council house and you plan to kind of buy that council house, then renovate it. If you don't plan to buy that council house, but you want to get a little bit of experience, paint the walls, change the carpets, try and do it yourself, try and get a little bit of experience there. Then go out and buy your own home, renovate that. Once you renovated that to a decent standard, then go out and start buying multiple properties in that. Yeah? Start off small. Everyone want, everyone thinks, yeah, I could buy these properties and that, and then bam, before I blink, I'm going to be a property monopoly tycoon and that. Within three years, I'm going to be sitting on millions. Nah, fam. you got to crawl before you walk, man. But yeah, anyway, done now. Stay words, done now.